Hi, this is Aubrey Stewart, and you're listening to Rise of the Phoenix, the stories behind the band Providence and the release of the album Phoenix. The spotlight today will be on the song Wicked Whisper, some of which you just heard, and it's from the album Phoenix, but I thought a little history on Providence would be a good place to to begin. We originally got our start in 2001 when when three friends got together to create some new music and have some fun. Uh, Each of the three of us, Scott Russell, Dave Shepard, and myself, had grown up playing in bands and touring primarily around Texas, and we had all ended up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and came to know each other from various projects where we had crossed paths. Dave Shepard was working at a local music store in East Fort Worth, Swords Music, where he met many players from the area and had befriended a frequent customer of the music store, Larry Chapman. Larry owned a family nursing home down the street, and the business had acquired an adjacent property to use for overflow uh, parking. And on that property was a sprawling building that had originally been a funeral home and also housed a fairly good sized chapel. Larry was a guitar player and had mentioned to Dave that the chapel inside the funeral parlor would be a great place for a band to practice. And he had told Dave to come by and take a look as he had some equipment set up there. It was around that same time that Dave, who played guitar, had suggested to Scott, a bass player, that they get together and jam, and Scott reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in providing vocals for the project. The funeral home turned out to be an ideal place to rehearse, and though Larry was primarily a guitar player, he offered to sit down behind the drum kit, and that's how the four founding members of Providence came together. The funeral home was in an industrial area of town and was ideal for late-night rehearsals, and we had a PA with monitors and lighting, a full show set up in the chapel, and it was just a perfect place that really nurtured our creativity and uh, just allowed us to uh, really uh, focus on uh, uh, original music. And as such, we, we wrote a handful of tunes, three of which we would record at a local Dallas studio, Crystal Clear. So Larry eventually left the project, and Providence acquired a new drummer, Dwayne Sedge, And we then began to play around the DFW area for a few years as a copy band playing rock tunes at local clubs and parties. And we eventually went our separate ways and all moved on to other projects. So fast forward to 2018, Uh, Scott Russell is back working with Dave Shepard and performing in several local projects, but both are again interested in working on some new original music, and once again I'm recruited on vocals. Uh, So we also bring in an old friend, Darren Davis, on drums uh, for these writing sessions, and this turns out to be a really productive three to four month period where we write uh, seven new songs that we all feel really good about. so I decided to upgrade my home studio and and really just set about recording these these new songs. We also decided to use the Providence name and to rework and include the three originals that were recorded earlier as part of this new overall project. We bring in Mark Hans on drums, who is currently working on several other projects uh, with Dave and Scott. And we get busy recording and then rehearsing the songs uh, for the new album. We decided to name the album Phoenix uh, to represent uh, the rise from the ashes of a new Providence, a Mark II version. So let's get back to Wicked Whisper. Wicked 
Wicked Whisper is a song that I brought in, which is really just a riff that I had been kicking around for some time. And as we worked through the song, I began to hear the line, Wicked Whisper, during the chorus. And that really became the theme of the song, the idea being the voices one hears in their head that eventually lead them to commit some heinous act. Uh, so this evolved into the prequel storyline to the song Dark Side, which I'll spotlight and discuss in a future segment of Rise of the Phoenix, which was originally written in the Mark I version of Providence and tells the story of a psychopath whose love is leaving him and he's decided that if he can't have her, no one can. Wicked Whisper is the precursor to that heinous act committed in Dark Side as the protagonist begins to lose his mind as the voices in his head grow. Wicked Whisper is one of my favorite cuts from Fe uh, from Phoenix. It's, it's the heaviest song on the album and really epitomizes the style of music both Scott and I really connect with and regularly listen to. During the lead of the song, and as Scott was laying down the bass, he created a badass little step down that really sets that part of the song apart. And I went back and changed the rhythm guitar to mirror that step down. And of course, Dave's wicked lead brings it all together. <laughs> Phoenix on November 30th of 2019 via CD Baby, and as we look at the streaming statistics and demographics of the album, Wicked Whisper is one of the most popular songs on Phoenix. In addition to the U.S., we're seeing the heaviest interest in the album from Germany, France, and Austria, so it's cool to get international attention. We hope you enjoy Wicked Whisper and the entire Phoenix album, available on iTunes, Amazon Music, and streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, and Pandora. Also, check out our website at www.providencetheband.com for the CD and other Providence merchandise. And that's it. Look for future editions of Rise of the Phoenix, where we'll spotlight different songs from the album. Thanks for listening, and rock on. Rock on.